This is Code.org, and we're going to see how is a Creative Commons license different than regular copyright. So this is really important to the creative process. Let's talk about what Creative Commons is, and it is a thing, right? So real quick, we can just go, ta-da, look, we're on the Creative Commons website. So Creative Commons allows people to share content regardless of copyright status. In the U.S., when someone produces something, they automatically own that content, a copyright to it. By and large, this gets iffy, but by and large. And that can be an impediment to people who might want to use it. So even if you want people to use your photo that you took, you took this really great photo and you want people to put it in games, put it in movies, whatever they want, they don't even have to pay you. You just want them to use it, build on it, make a mural out of it. You're okay with that. Well, they technically would really have to get permission from you. And what Creative Commons does is give you an ability to communicate that without, you know, getting a call, a text, or a message from all these people who might want to use it. Creative Commons, you can label your stuff as Creative Commons, and there are options, right? Buy, uh, share alike, or buy non-commercial share alike. All of these things that allow you to explain how you want your content shared and what's okay. Maybe they can edit it, but they can't use it to make money. Maybe you don't care. Maybe they can edit it all they want, use it to make money, anything they need. And that's what Creative Commons is all about. Creative Commons is all about sharing and building upon other people's work and allowing them to do so. Code.org actually has Creative Commons content. A lot of their curriculum is. So pretty great, and it really helps people build and learn, especially in code. It allows you to take programming that already exists and build on top of it, new features and functionality. All right, so let's see what we have here. It is different in name only. In practice, it does the same thing. Nope. It allows others to share and reuse your work if they pay you first. It allows your work to be shared, reused, and remixed to help spark more creativity. That one sounds good. It does the most restrictive type of copyright, not allowing anyone to use it. Nope. It's all about sharing and reuse with permission. Onward.